you know, and, and the sad part about the church today is if I say, um, oh, I'm free of religion, a lot of you might think, oh, that just means he's not legalistic anymore. No, 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 no. That, that's only half of it. Because what happens today in radical grace churches is they say, okay, stay away from religion because that's legalism. And look, you're right, but that's only half the solution because what happens is they get rid of the legalism, but then they don't deal with the other half of it, which is the, the greasy grace, that subtle excuse we give ourselves uh, to do what we want, to, to perhaps in the beginning commit little sins because after all, you know, God's grace is free. So in doing away with legalism, we tend to go deeper the other way into a radical grace, but that's just as religious as the legalistic guy. The guy who greasifies and excuses himself in either little or big ways, either little sins or big sins, he's just as religious as the guy who's legalistic, who thinks he's got to dot every I and cross every T or God's going to throw him out of heaven. You know, so the greasy grace guy is just as religious Listen, you have not left religion if you've left a legalistic church and gone to a greasy grace church. You are still in religion. You must, you must deal with both of those because, listen, that's how the devil gets you. He hedges his bets. You know, he's going to push you legalistically, but as soon as you start to find out that, that it's not right to be legalistic like that, because, look, who wants to live that way? So you start going back the other way, more towards center, but the devil goes, okay, we can't have this person begin to understand the true grace of God because then the devil says it's over for us. So what does he do as you come back this way? He keeps pushing you until you go too far into a greasy grace. And then some people may realize, okay, you know, right right at the beginning, they go, okay, this greasy grace is not good, you know, because you tend to not do the righteousness of God that we've become. So they start to go back towards the center, but then the devil goes, okay, we can't have them walk in the grace of God because then the devil says, well, it's over for our kingdom if they find out who they really are in Christ. So what does he do? He pushes you to keep going more into legalism. And you're like, well, where is this grace of God? You know, I go this way into a greasy grace, and yet when I come back this way, I tend to go legalistic. And listen, that's because it's just this flat, you know, two-dimensional screen, this natural soul. It cannot understand the grace of God that only the Spirit can. That is, oh, I'm an actual new creature. I have a capacity to understand my Father because I have his same nature. That's 1 Corinthians 2. Read through there. 